and read a story to you, but I'm also going to be doing some dancing as well. So this story is for more younger children, but you can also listen to it as well, because I love this story. It's called Carlo and the Really Nice Librarian by Jessica Spangle. One day, Dad took Carlo and Crackers to the new library. Off we went to the library, he said. Wow, said Carlo when he saw the books. Dad called after Carlo. I'm going to be just around this corner if you need me. The library was very impressive. There were colours, posters, there were chairs with wheels on. And there was the longest desk Carlo had ever seen. Come on, crackers, said Carlo. Can I help you? Yikes, cried Carlo. Hello, I'm Mrs. Chinka. What's your name? Carlo whispered. Carlo. And who is this? asked Mrs. Chinka. That's crackers. He's my cat. Mrs. Tinka, the librarian, seems a bit scary. What sort of books do you like, Carlo? asked Mrs. Tinka. All sorts, Carlo said quietly. Very good. Well, let me tell you about our library books. Come on, Carlo, follow me. This is a lovely bedtime story, said Mrs. Tinka. Just look at these beautiful pictures, Carlo. And this is a very exciting read. Carlo couldn't believe how much Mrs. Tinker knew about books. This is one of my favourites, said Mrs. Tinker in a muffled voice. Oh, I've got that. I've got that one at home, Carlo said excitedly. Carlo was beginning to think that Mrs. Chinka wasn't as scary as he had first thought. She was being such a good and helpful librarian. Would you like to read a book with me? Mrs. Chinka asked Carlo. Carlo thought that would be really good fun. Vroom, vroom, he said when he saw the cars. Tick tock, he said when he saw the clock. said Mrs. Chinka when she saw the lion. Carlo laughed so much he got his tail to into a tangle. <gasps> Next, Mrs. Chinka asked Carlo to help her with her work. You have such a lovely long neck, Carlo. Could you put these books on the top shelf? Carlo really liked helping Mrs. Chinka. Then Mrs. Chinka gave Carlo his very own library card. <gasps> Thank you so much, exclaimed Carlo. After Carlo had finished choosing his books, Dad said it was time to go home. Carlo felt sad to leave. He couldn't believe he had ever been so scared of Mrs. Chinka. Mrs. Chinka used Carlo's new library card to check out all of his books. Bye bye, Carlo. Bye bye, Crackers. See you again soon, she said. Bye bye, Mrs. Chinka, said Carlo. As soon as Carlo got home, he showed Mum his library books and told her all about it and all about Mrs. Chinka. She's really nice and such good fun, said Carlo. She sounds lovely, darling, said Mum. It wasn't until Carlo opened his last book that he noticed something strange. There was a tiny, bite-sized bit missing. <gasps> Mrs Tinker really does love her books, laughed Carlo. The end. But watch, we have another book, guys. One more book. Stay tuned for the next video.